What's up Madden 16 fans? My name is Cody and I want to welcome you guys to our YouTube channel. Today's video we're going to be giving you five tips, the top five tips to improve for Madden 17 and the umbrella at which we are going to branch this entire video is practice mode. This is the most important thing you can ever do to get better at this game. When we're talking about preparing for Madden 17, what we want to do is we've got to get into the lab, we've got to get into practice mode because what practice mode allows us to do it allows us to train our plays against one another. Okay, so the most important thing to do first and foremost is get into practice mode. And what we're going to do today is we're going to give you five additional tips of how to use practice mode to get better. So the first thing is we want to work on our plays. So whatever play it is you want to work on offensively, you want to do this. So for example, if I want to develop an offense out of the shotgun bunch week, then this is, this is what I would do. I would come out, pick a play I want to use. So let's just use Z spot for example today. So we're gonna we're gonna give you the top five tips for developing this play Z spot. Now this is a popular play. It's got a nice route to the to the to the far right receiver. So we're gonna call Z spot. Now the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come out and we're gonna face dime. We're gonna call dime normal, and we're gonna call the play cover four. Now what this is gonna do is on defense we now have the opportunity to call cover two man cover two, cover three, and then we came out in a cover four. So we have access to all the coverage trees so we can run this play against all of those. So what I would recommend is you want to just kind of run the play. So we'll call man coverage and we'll just run it and we're going to take a sack. Now once we get sacked, and this is the first tip, we're going to go into, in, we're going to go into instant replay. Okay, so the first tip is to call that cover four when you're running your plays. The second tip is to take a sack the first time you're running the play just to kind of try out all the routes, see what they do, and come back and look at it. So against man-to-man, -man, we can see this play is pretty locked up. The corner route doesn't get very good separation. The route to Jordy Nelson gets some good separation over the middle of the field. We could potentially get an aggressive catch, uh, but that's pretty much what it does. So so we use that, and we, we go into instant replay and ask questions, you know, what routes get open against what? So then, for example, the next thing we would do is call cover three, and now on offense, we do the same thing. Drop back and take a sack. And then we'll pause the game. We'll go into instant replay. And we'll just look and try to understand what is happening uh, with the routes. That's the you know one of the most important things uh, that we can do. And you can use this on defense, too, when you're practicing uh, with your blitzes. And we'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so the first tip is practice mode. The second tip is to use instant replay. The third tip is to use random plays so one of the things that i would recommend you to do is for example once you feel like you've mastered uh your routes you know you feel like you've mastered your routes i would recommend running this the, against the random play feature and what's going to happen here is they're just going to come out and whatever it is random play and you're just going to cycle through your routes your progressions work your reads and what you're going to be able to do is i would focus on identifying how to read the defense so learning how to read a defense and we will show you that uh, through this off season, so stay tuned to the YouTube channel if you want to learn how to read the defense We are going to show you but what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to be very good at, at at Practicing learning how to read the defense. So what I'm saying here. So for example, right? Snap of the ball. Okay, I see this. I'm gonna say this is cover zero. There's gonna be nobody deep So I'm gonna show the play art now and voila it's cover zero. So then I now know okay How do I attack this? This is one of my plays for cover zero and, and you can see they're uh, going to be a wide open touchdown. So again, number three thing is to use random plays. Number four thing, guys, the number four thing you can do to improve for Madden 17 is learn the ins and outs of the coverage system. Learn how to tell, is it cover three, is it cover four, what are the safeties doing? Okay, so right here, it looks like a blitz off the left edge. So I'm going to set up a play that's going to flood to the right side of the field. And what you're going to see here, he goes man to man. We've got that wheel route in position, a nice little possession catch on the sideline. So those are the things that you want to do. And finally, guys, the last thing I'm going to tell you, the thing that I think is the most important of all of the tips we can give you is relentless repetition. And what relentless repetition is, guys, is we get in the lab every day. We are a gym rat. We are constantly trying to get better at this game. And we do that by relentlessly logging on getting into practice mode, running our plays over and over and over and over again, learning the ins and outs of them, going through every single play in our playbook 
relentlessly repeating the process over and over again, trying to figure out, okay, PA slot cross looks like an interesting play, so I'm going to try it out and do all sorts of things. So I'm going to come out of my dime normal package and do exactly what I just did with the Z spot, but I'm going to do that from the, sh the single back doubles now and learn the ins and outs of it. And, and guys, relentless repetition also, what I want to say lastly with relentless repetition is pick one playbook and don't change. Do not change your playbook, guys. This is so hard for someone like me, but I'm telling you, it's all about depth, not width. Relentlessly repeating the ins and outs of your playbook. We like the St. Louis Rams playbook here, and this is the playbook that we have relentlessly pursued, relentlessly deepened our knowledge of it, and it has paid off. This is by far one of my favorite playbooks. So pick a playbook that you're going to practice now and stick with it for the rest of the year. And then when Madden 17 comes out, if that playbook is identical to the way you were running it in Madden 16, then use it again. If it's not identical, pick one playbook in the beginning of Madden 17 and stick with it throughout the remainder of the game. Do not change your playbooks. It is essential that you run the same playbook all season long. That's the biggest tip I could give you guys. Running the same playbook all season long is going to deepen your knowledge of your plays you have got it's all about simplicity and depth so again relentless repetition so real quick guys before we go uh, I want to ask you guys if you enjoyed this video to subscribe and a quick reminder the top five tips are this number one get into practice mode get, be a gym rat number two use instant replay and number th uh, and also make sure when you're on defense you get a playbook where you can come out in the dime normal cover four cover three cover two cover one or excuse me and cover two man that's going to give you access to all the coverages. So come out in a cover four when you're practicing on offense. And then use that instant replay feature, guys. And then the number two tip, again, use that random play feature. Once you think you've got it down, then you want to go back, use that random play feature so you can cycle through all these different coverages. And lastly but not least, guys, number one tip we can give you guys, relentless repetition. Relentless repetition over and over again, over and over again, over and over again. That's what the NFL teams do, and that's what we do here on our channel. I think that's one of the most important keys for success in developing your game for Madden 17 is to constantly get repetition after repetition after repetition after repetition with the playbook that you're going to want to use. So, guys, those are my top five tips on how to improve for Madden 17. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments, and I look forward 